The Bank of England is telling President Maduro that he cannot have access to his country's gold reserves, worth more than a billion dollars, by the way, because they say that he's not the country's president anymore, as proclaimed by the Trump administration. Follow? Meanwhile, the U.S. Treasury today, in the form of Secretary of State Mnuchin, also announced sanctions against CITCO, a move that also seems to be intended toward giving control of the Venezuelan company to Juan Guaido, who is, according to the United States, the new proclaimed president of Venezuela. This all gets uh, both intriguing and somewhat confusing. So we have our RT correspondent, Sara Montes de Oca, joining us now with the very latest on what's going on with this story. It does seem very, very curious that the United States continued to apply even more pressure today. I don't think this is going to be stopping anytime soon. Well, Rick, I don't think so either, but I do want to start with us having seen something similar before. Back in 2011 uh -huh. with uh, former Libyan leader Gaddafi. Mm -hmm. Now, the U.S. also froze Libyan government assets during that time, and they did so with the help of the U.N. They placed sanctions on Libya. Interesting. To this day, prosecutors still don't know where those millions of dollars went. Rick, we could see this happening again in Venezuela. Prosecutors are still looking as to where that money went. Hopefully this is not the case, but the UK is blocking Venezuela from accessing. Well, yeah, well, you know, what's really interesting about this is they, they seem to be saying, the United States seems to be saying, very simple. I mean, it's really a lot easier to figure out if you just put it in these terms. We don't like Maduro. We like this guy, Guaido. So we're going to give Guaido everything, including control of CITCO and control of this $1.2 billion in gold that apparently the Venezuelans have in the Bank of England. The question is, and here's that comparison that you just made between Muammar Gaddafi, is how do we know that Waido will then not be beholden to the United States, therefore whatever agents working with the United States, and of course U.S. companies, won't end up with the larger share of all of that? Well, well we don't. We don't. And Secretary, uh, National Secretary Advisor John Bolton had this to say just a few hours ago. All right. I call on all responsible nations to recognize interim president Guaido immediately. Maduro has made clear he will not recognize Guaido or call for new elections. Now is the time to stand for democracy and prosperity in Venezuela. Again, calling for other nations to recognize Guaido as president. And there's another uh, sound that I want to play from U.S. Secretary okay. of Treasury Steve Mnuchin. So when there is a recognition that PDVSA is the property of the, the rightful uh, rulers, the rightful leaders, the president, then, then indeed that money will be available to Guaido. Uh, we will be working with them on the money at the, in the blocked account and whether that can be used for them. I mean, but you, you it, heard him, Newton, yeah. saying that blocked account will be accessible to Guaido. To Guaido. To Guaido. But until it seems then, peculiar, that doesn't it? I mean, it, it just, does. The, the idea that the United States or any government, right, you know, this happens to be our beloved country, but right. the idea that any foreign power can go to the backyard and say to any other country, this money, which belongs to you, you can't have, we're going to give it's it to theft. the chosen person in your country. Critics are calling this bank theft, like if, or theft in general. If somebody goes into a bank and asks to retrieve their money and the bank bank says no even though you have those funds that's essentially what critics are comparing it to now i do want to say mm. that guaido wrote a letter to prime uk prime minister theresa may and the governor of the bank of england saying i am writing to ask you to stop this illegitimate transaction if the money is transferred it will be used by the illegitimate and kleptocratic regime of nicolas maduro to repress and brutalize the venezuelan people mm. rich we're looking at 16.5 tons that was last year, 16.5 tons of gold. That comes out to about 550 million. Now it's doubled after a deal that Venezuela made with the Deutsche Bank. Right. 1.2, almost 1.2 $1 billion, billion dollars that Venezuela has been. And, and by the way, we should underscore for our viewers, this is not to say that anybody's taking sides. Maduro has not been a good guy. His policies have been absolutely atrocious for Venezuela. I do just want to It has not add, been successful. We're out of time, but it has not been successful. Well, now with, the oil sanctions are, right, right, right. So, are in place. So. Good stuff. Thank Appreciate you. it. Hey, YouTube. Thanks for checking out our channel. We hope you enjoyed the video. We have tons of content for you just like this. For more of RT America's one-of-a-kind news and analysis, be sure to subscribe and never stop questioning more.